So we have a function defined from the real numbers into the real numbers. And it's given by f of x equals x to the fourth power plus x squared. The question is, is the function injective? And we have to prove or disprove. So injective also means one to one. So before we do the problem, let me briefly recall what it means for a function to be injective. So we say f from a to b is injective. If, whenever we have uh, f of a equal to f of b, then a is equal to b. And this has to hold for all a, b in the domain of the function. So I probably should have said that somewhere here. So this has to hold uh, if for all a, b and a, whenever uh, f of a is equal to um, f of b, then a is equal to b. So uh, I don't think this is going to be injective. Um, so to show it's not injective, we just have to find a situation where this fails, just one, just one example of where it fails. And the reason I think it's not injective is because they're both even powers. So like if I plug in negative one, it's going to turn into a one in both cases. If I plug in one, it's also going to turn into a one in both cases. So those are different numbers, but they're going to give us the same result. So it's not injective if you can just find two elements, A and B, such that this is not true. So, so in other words, this is true, but this piece here is false. So watch. So here's the solution. Let's disprove it. So take A equals 1 and B equals negative 1. So then F of 1 is equal to 1 to the 4th plus 1 squared, which is 1 plus 1, which, which is 2. And then f of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 to the 4th plus negative 1 squared, which is just 1 plus 1, which is also 2. So we have, so we have the first condition satisfied. We have that f of 1 is equal to f of negative 1. So if this was an injective function, that would imply that a is equal to b. It would imply that 1 is equal to negative 1. But 1 is not equal to negative 1. So this it fails. So all you have to do is find one example of where it fails. So thus, f is not injective. So in order to prove it, you have to prove it satisfies the definition for all a, b. In order to disprove it, all you have to do is find one case where it fails. And so whenever they're both even like this, it kind of just screams, you know, it's not injective. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is trying to learn some mathematics. Good luck.